But now uh, we've demonstrated the ability to make computer chips. Uh, we, we have a consortium of, of universities focused on making quantum adjacent technologies. So the industries of the future are coming to the industrial Midwest, and it's not sleepy. I think a lot of your prime business school graduates and many others who may not even choose to go to college will be working in these industries uh, in coming years. And you just have to hope that the government, in implementing it, keeps its interest, right? I mean, that's the big challenge is that, is that administrations change, Congresses change, and you have to make sure that you follow through on these things politically, right? You do. It helps. When you look at the defense space, we know there's going to be an ongoing interest, not only because of the defense, the importance of defense, but because there is an industrial base in almost every congressional district across the country. Well, the research piece of chips and science doesn't get a lot of attention, but it was $200 billion in authorization. The actual chips part was only $52 billion. The research stuff's important in its own right. I mean, uh, the, the, uh, the benefit-cost ratio of federal research is off the charts positive, so we need to invest in more.